politics, guns, and taxes. Not a typical topic you would bring up. But this man's business is booming because of it. More people were starting to buy air guns because they aren't restricted. There's no licensing. He owns Air Guns of Texas. Actually, Lewis and Clark carried an air gun on their expedition. Air guns are not your average airsoft yeah, gun. Much more powerful. <laughs> yeah, way, way more powerful. Nor your typical firearm. They're more cost effective. Um, they're quieter. And they're easier to shoot without hearing protection. After watching him shoot one, he let me try it out. So that shot was very simple. It was just like shooting an airsoft gun and looks to me like I'm pretty good. These weapons are powered by air, which is why you don't need a license. The majority of our country, there, there are no restrictions on air guns. Oddly enough, he has seen an increase in business due to the election. After the election, sales did start going up. And tax season also has a very positive impact. You get your tax returns, it's usually spent on something fun. Now these are powerful enough to hunt with. So you've got small game up to large game depending on what caliber you go with. Which is also why they are very popular. Go ahead and write it up for me and we'll take a tank. And although the local police department have not recalled any issues. Make sure that that you're uh, treating every weapon that you use just like it's any weapon that you use. You need to be safe when handling it. Treat your gun like it's always loaded. Reporting in Abilene, Amber Tribig, KRBC News. Awesome high five. Well, today we got a preview of tomorrow's weather, only tomorrow is going to be several degrees warmer than today. We have a nice view out there this evening, a great sunset. Skycam out there on Highway 30.